what what was the main idea behind the whole thing? Yeah, the main idea was uh, to, uh, to try to, to tell the uh, community how to protect their crops by using cheaper things like chili fences. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, what are the advantages of the chili fence as compared to other methods of uh, farm protection of any kind? It's not uh, really difficult to gather the materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, comparing to those uh, other things like uh, electrical fences, they are a bit expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now how do you go about setting up the fence? Alright, if somebody needs to, uh, to, to, to plant his chili fence or her chili fence, mm -hmm. uh, he should have these things like uh, uh, paws, Mm -hmm. um, grease, mm -hmm. used oil, mm -hmm. chili, mm -hmm. mantle and cloth. Mm -hmm. These are the things that should be gathered. Uh, what made the, uh, this chili fences to be effective mm -hmm. is due to the uh, substance which the chili has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this substance which makes the chili to be hot mm -hmm. is what we call capsicum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this stuff is the one which makes the, the, the chili fence to be effective. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, when, when the elephant comes, if the fence is planted, as you can see here, that means that air is cutting the capsicum. So if the elephant eh, smells that capsicum, mm -hmm. that means it should repel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say uh, how this chili fence has been uh, prepared. Eh? As you can see, there is a basin here. This basin is where we are uh, uh, adding some all materials. We are putting uh, grease in this dish. Mm -hmm. We are putting used oil. Uh, we are adding chili. Uh -huh. So after adding all these, is when you now we are taking these stuff mm -hmm. applying to the uh, constructed fence like it, as it is here mm -hmm. so this is how it is that's why we are trying to teach us and sensitize people so that they should do at least learn how to protect their animals rather than killing them okay yeah all right first thank you very much